Hello, my name is Jay, and I'd like to share some information with you today in regards to reparenting our adult self. So what does reparenting mean? Reparenting means parenting yourself all over again in the direction you would like yourself to head in the future. As an adult, your inner child is still active within you. The behavior, thoughts, and feelings of an inner child is a result of environment as well as upbringing. Your inner child is the part of your personality that still feels and reacts like a child. Your subconscious is formed by your childhood. The thoughts and feelings of your subconscious are sometimes influenced by the kind of um, environmental factors as well as um, upbringing that you have had and were experienced. While it is important to move on and forge the life that we want, having unresolved issues from our ch childhood can affect us today. We often feel the need to kind of leave what's in the past right where it belongs in the past. Um, those are just um, some uh, clues of context um, to how some individuals may feel. Going back to your childhood can be difficult and many choose to kind of let it be. However, it is through confronting and identifying your childhood uh, trauma um, experiences, uh, triggers that you understand the reason on to why we behave or the reason behind um, the experiences or the perception that we have as an adult today. This term is called parenting or excuse me, reparenting. So how do our parents or can our parents influence our childhood into adulthood? Knowingly or unknowingly, our uh, childhood influences or experiences influence a person that um, they are today. You can only become fully aware of who you are when you fully understand your childhood and how it influenced the person that you are today and how you may relate to the world and vice versa. Our parents are <clears throat> our first connection to the rest of the world. When a child is picking up ways of the world um, or experiences, <clears throat> if you will, they learn from their parents. The person that you are today is largely um, influenced and dependent on the type of um, parenting that may have been received or their lack of. We want to be mindful though, that it's not entirely our parents' um, fault, if you will, that we've experienced some challenges growing up. Different parents um, lend to different behaviors and or parenting styles. Um, inner wounds can result from a child uh, behaving in a way that may be affected or may affect the child's thinking behavior um, and this is manifested through adulthood. So some parenting um, styles that uh, can benefit from uh, receiving assistance and or support um, that are not um, so beneficial to a child growing up is critical, um, disapproving parenting, um, unavailable and abandoning parenting, guilt tripping parents, um, unreliable, um, uh, that's where uh, an, an individual feel that the, the parent cannot be trusted, uh, neglectful, controlling, coddling parents. Now with those, and then there's the other side of that, the flip side to that, when there are positive interactions in parenting styles. Um, right now we want to focus on how to reparent yourself if you have experienced any of those things. Um, so we want to develop a healthier inner child and become a better functional human or adult. So some ways to do that is exploring your wounded child with a, a trusted person within your support network and or really a, a therapist, a mental health individuals that is that are trained to assist um, you through that process. Uh, Try to understand how, you know, childhood triggers or experiences affect you today. Uh, talking it out has its share of benefits. First, you realize that your situation um, 
that you have lived is valid, so validating yourself. Uh, when we hide something that kind of hurts us, we give it more power. So talking about it kind of undresses the shame, guilt, and um, no longer would you feel those burdens. Also identifying areas that are affected by your wounded child. So what I mean by that is identify the areas that are affected by um, things that you've experienced as a child. Um, do you have trouble with rules and feel uncontrolled desires to break them? Um, so those, those are some ways. Uh, another benefit in kind of reparenting yourself is kind of listing the things that you need. You make a list of things that you need to change and or tweak or to grow from. You can address the things that maybe have been a blind spot. Also writing some positive affirmation in this area. So once you've identified the areas that um, were not of benefit, um, listing them down, develop some affirmations. You need to remind yourself uh, to kind of have more self-worth and esteem and more grounding for yourself. So some reparenting affirmations are, I am worthy and I need to remember this. I can take charge of my life and develop self-discipline. My past does not define me. Just because my parents was, um, doesn't mean I have to be. So the was, as you insert, you know, was not um, affectionate, was not whatever that, that what is, doesn't mean that you have to be. Um, my parents were struggling with their own challenges and it didn't have anything to do with me. I can become and I am a better person. I am not a failure. So depending on your situation, writing out affirmations can break, free, break you free from the past experiences. Learning to catch yourself. So learning to catch yourself is when you kind of go back to uh, old behaviors or maladaptive behaviors and you ask yourself, what can I do differently? If you find yourself falling short of into bad habits, um, kind of catching yourself before going into that rabbit hole. If you're working on improving self-worth, uh, which can um, be a benefit, start catching yourself when you're having, you're starting to have negative self-talk and or negative thoughts can steer your mind towards a more positive way of thinking. Celebrate small changes Successful uh, parenting is a practice and it's not something that is um, achieved overnight. Um, it could take a lifetime of kind of um, ebbs and flows of challenges. Um, it, again, it doesn't have happen overnight. It may take a long time to completely kind of recover and become the person that you wanna be. Celebrating the small ch changes can be recognizing, you know, every time that you made something um, a smaller success or compartmentalizing um, certain attributes. Also, don't shift blame. Um, sometimes it's challenging. It's true that, you know, parenting styles may not have been perfect. And though if you blame the bad behaviors and habits on parenting all the time or ex past experiences with parenting all the time, you're shifting blame. Recovering and reparenting yourself is not about blaming others for the things that, are, that have gone array in life. Instead, it's about deciding in your life um, what has been experienced or exposed to in the past does not define you and it does not take charge of your life. You choose the future that you want and you take charge of creating the life that you would like. So I hope that this has been informative and I hope that you all have a good day.